Well, South Africa is lagging behind other countries when it comes to preparing teachers and students for the fourth industrial revolution. Now, to ensure students are ready for any future jobs, early learning plays a crucial role in that educational journey. As part of the celebrations for Youth Month this year, Parliament is launching a campaign to introduce young people to 4IR, the fourth industrial revolution. But is it working and what more needs to be done? Let's bring in Dr. Belinda Matabese and Zamambo Africa from the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research uh, joining us this morning. Good morning to, to both of you. Uh, Dr. Matabese, hello. Let me begin with you first, if we can. Just based on your research, how good are we at getting the idea of the fourth industrial revolution out there? to the public. Are we winning or are we not there yet? Good morning. Uh, morning, uh, everyone. Uh, I think we 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 are winning. We are there as a CSR. We are preparing the youth and the workforce in terms of the training uh, through the CSR learning factory. And maybe I'll give it to Zamambo so that she can give us just a base of what CSR is about and the mandate so that you can see how it links then in, in, in responding to the skills challenges when it comes to, to, to unemployment, especially in youth and the preparedness of the workforce for the future skills. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Zamambo, um, please do that for me. Just a good morning, Zamambo. Please yeah, answer that for me because I want to get a sense of the nuts and bolts of this as well because it's great for us to talk about the 4IR, uh, but I'm trying to understand what does it actually look like. So good morning to you. Good morning to you and good morning to your, 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 your viewers as well. I think the CSR is an organization. Um, one of the mandate for the organization is to empower South Africa through the innovations that the organization has been working on for the past 75 years. And by doing so, what the CSR has done is put together a learning factory together with various capabilities that the organization has. And with that being said, the organization will be running a series of web, webinar series from the 26th of June to the 3rd of July. And the idea of behind that was to basically create a platform which will be done virtually where the organization can connect with the industry and connect with the different individuals to really unpack the different capabilities, the different technologies and infrastructure and skills that the organization has in terms of the 4IR and other capabilities. And this will allow the audience to partake in questions and how they can also collaborate with the CSR and partner through various capabilities that are available within the organization. Mm. So through the learning factor where Dr. Matebesa is part of, so that is what we have done where we've brought into life the different technologies within the foyer art, the robotics. How does that, when we think about it in the conceptual form, we bring that into life through the smart factory that we also put in together. We bring through all those different concepts into life. And the idea behind that is to make it accessible to everyone in South Africa and also across the global space where we bring these things that we normally talk about that some sort of boo and so conceptual but we want to bring that through to life so that you can feel and experience what these foyer art concepts are. Yeah, you actually can live it as well. It's not just theory uh, that the CSIR is talking about, but you're actually able to go and physically touch something. It becomes very tangible, uh, doesn't it? Uh, and Zamambo, you made a very good point that I'd like to ask Dr. Matabese about as well, or actually either of you can weigh in. You decide who can answer this one for me. How do we try and bridge the digital divide? Because Zamambo, you were quite right in saying it's about bringing everyone together in an online space and you're able to learn from anywhere, interconnectivity. Let's be honest, our country isn't necessarily set up for that how do we do interconnectivity to those who need it but can't access it so through the learning factory we have different uh, learning pillars so we have those that are the focus on the theory that we try to do uh, an online course where someone can go in and then do the course uh, on their own pace we also have the hands-on training where then someone can come in the, the, the learning factory to have the hands-on training and see how one can solve a real uh, industry-based problems uh, through the use of the cohorts and, and, and production line. We're also planning in the future to set up a, a learning factory portal so where anyone uh, in the 
world can access if one can reach to the CSR, can access the, the training outcomes or the training modules uh, through the, the portal. And with the digital transformation, there are also means where you can be able to control the robot while you are in Jobek, but you're controlling mm -hmm. the, the robot in the Eastern Cape. So we're also trying to 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 to, to set up that 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 the, the 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 environment so that we can be able to access mm -hmm. more people. And we're also planning to have your mobile uh, learning factories where it can be able to reach uh, areas uh, like the rural areas, areas yeah. where people don't have access to the technology. Mm -hmm. So whereby we'll be teaching you what is a robot, what is AI, and then also show you how you can apply that mm -hmm. or how it's currently ap uh, applicable in your daily life. It's and something out of like a futuristic action. movie, Zamambo, as well. It's like something out of the future uh, that you're both talking about. It's astonishing what you're doing uh, at the moment. Uh, Zamambo, I want to maybe ask you this question uh, as well. When you talk about uh, getting ready for future jobs, uh, help me understand. So the 4IR, what you're looking at at the moment, is that only for future jobs that don't necessarily exist right now? How do you fit in what you're doing now with the current uh, crop of work available uh, in our country? How do you blend the two? I think it's not only future jobs, but it's also the current jobs that we have. The aim is how do we improve the efficiency? How do we improve and maximize value in our daily operations? So that is what these technologies are able to empower any organization or any space where you are able to fit in. It's about improving efficiency, getting maximum value from your production and improving the quality of your production line, whether it's from your service that you deliver, even in terms of being able to apply these technologies from education base. And one of the uh, collaborations that we're doing is we're working together with the Mesita, where we're doing a pilot with one of the TVs. And the idea with that is once we've completed that, that will be rolled out nationally. So it, it basically prepares the youth, it prepares the individual in terms of you coexisting with the current technologies that we have so that in the future we are able to prepare jobs that enables people to be able to deliver maximum value in anything that they're able to do. It's very clever. Create the jobs that will be uh, trained for in the future. I think it's a wonderful way of phrasing it as well. Congratulations to both of you and the CSIR as well. Fascinating. I can talk about 4IR and technology. It's like something out of the future at the moment. But uh, my big thanks to Dr. Belinda Matabese and as well as uh, Mambo Africa from the CSIR. If you're interested, I'm sure you can just head over to uh, their website, hit them up on the socials. I think is how the kids say it these days. Uh, and you can get more information there. My thanks to uh, both Dr. Matabese. Uh, and Zamambo Africa for joining us this morning.